The losses for Surrey Mayor Brenda Locke continue to mount, with yet another this week over policing. The courts have sided with Public Safety Minister Mike Farnworth and upheld provincial legislation to force a police transition in Surrey. Locke's not admitting defeat, but says she's still in the fight to deliver on her 2022 campaign promise to keep taxes low over policing and keep the RCMP. The tax burden facing Surrey residents is the reason why the majority of the members of this council and I have fought so very hard to put an end to this transition. That majority is a slim one, just one councillor. So how strong is Brenda Locke's mandate to keep the RCMP? It's something she argues she has from the 2022 election, but a look back tells a different story. The vast majority of eligible Surrey voters did not cast a ballot two years ago, with only about 32% of residents going to the polls. In the mayoral race, Locke received 28% of the vote, a narrow 1% more than pro-municipal police force mayor Doug McCallum. There was also a third candidate who split votes. Some say it's a stretch for Locke to emphatically claim Surrey residents want to retain the Mounties. It's hard to make that claim. I mean, you can make a le claim to legitimacy, but can you make a democratic uh, sort of mandate claim uh, that, uh, that this is something overwhelmingly wanted by people? Meanwhile, the provincial prognosticators are celebrating the judicial win and appealing to fatigue over the issue in Surrey. This is obviously a huge relief for the people of Surrey who just want this done. Uh, I want this done. Everybody wants this done. As I said, the people of Surrey want this over. They want the transition moving forward, uh, and that's what's going to happen. Uh, and it would be great if the Surrey, if the city of Surrey was there. So will the city be there? Surrey Mayor Brenda Locke has not yet announced her next move, but with many pressing issues facing the city other than policing, her 19-month fight may be coming to an end. The Surrey Police Service is set to take over from the RCMP officially in November. Chad Pawson, CBC News, Vancouver.